I'll come back. Yeah, something very interesting here. It might not actually be. Well, I have no idea how I'm going to determine what it is. I've got a new recipe. I have no idea which one. Did we have fruits before? Is that new? That's well, got whisking, so whatever. Stirring. Oh wait, did it have a new on it? So no, probably not. I wish you could tell me what the new thing is. Kebabs. Ah, oh, sorting. No, no, I'm not touching that. Darn it! Everything has to have one mini game that I despise. Sort. No. In a range. Jeez. And I don't know which of these I've already looked at. Sorting again. Everything is sorting lately. It's the, the hip new thing. But it's really not a fun thing to do. Ooh, my foot fell asleep. That doesn't feel nice. This guy. That's how it works. The plot demands it. I feel like that's kind of bias on the judge's part, but whatever. Wonderful. That one's easy if you don't mess it up. As long as you do everything. As long as you're good at it, everything's fine. Of course. Ah, everything's always stirring! I think we had a few mini games without that though, recently. Or a few uh, challenges without that, I mean to say. Ooh, that last one was close, I almost missed it. Oh! Ah! There's no point in even trying to, to do this one properly. Man! Like, the timing on that is so tight! I guess I, I covertly made a safe state just in case I might need to use it. So I won't waste more time. Darn it! Because I don't want to waste a bunch of time on this challenge this episode, since... Ah! <laughs> Since I'm also going to try to do a whole shift this episode. Darn it! Come on, I had it the first try. Come on! There we go. Okay, so unplug the computer power cord so that things run more slowly. Of course, you gotta identify the corner pieces. Which pieces of which here? Oh, do we have three pieces left? No, we don't. Jeez. So this guy isn't even the final judge, it's actually, uh... King Neptune. Interesting. Uh, oh, is this... is this your, uh... I was, I was about to make that quip myself. Is this your stand-in? For the plot that you're appropriating that doesn't actually appear in this game? Oh, he doesn't even respond. Joy. Oh, whoops. Forgot to plug it back in. Wonderful. Whatever. Let's get straight into that crazy one there. Let's make it good. Here's what it is. And if I don't have to care, I won't. Just sit in here. Good work. Let's turn that crown upside down. 
Nah. Sea cheese sticks. So can this just be any order at all? Like, even one I've never done before? If that's the case, I should probably do these extra orders, actually. Unless it's a minigame I don't want to do. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, the thing is, most things that I don't want to do, most recipes I don't use, only have, say, one. Darn it. Only have, say, one minigame I don't want to do. Maybe at most two. Let's take a look at this. Also, we never do the, this minigame anymore. <laughs> that seems like a really inconvenient way to... Well, I've never not gone perfect on that, somehow. Seems like a really inconvenient way to, to prepare those, or to serve them. Yeah, no, I should absolutely... Yeah, those are only five. I think that's why it caused me difficulty, like I said in the last episode. But maybe whenever I do get those mystery orders, I should actually play as many minigames on them as I can outside of any minigames that I obviously don't want to do. Like stirring. Okay, that's too fast. Still perfect. That one's fairly permissive. I have flipping but not roasting, which is the same thing but rotated 90 degrees. Even the little bar indicating the timing is just rotated 90 degrees. Let's see if I can slice some bread. Oh, I didn't even finish the whole thing. Ah! I'm not supposed to flip things anymore. Not since the accident. That's why! I've ruined it. Soiled it. This French toast is going to be a blight on my record forever. Wonderful. Really Top screen's a little unbalanced there. Everything's at the beginning and end. You would think, too, that with all of my sandwiches actually being hot dogs, and whether those are mutually exclusive is for some reason a topic of debate, you would think that I would be pretty, pretty close to mastering roasting at this point. I don't think I am. I'll fall asleep again, but... See there, I'm pretty certain I did not actually lose quality, even though the UI said so, because I still have... Oh, over. Yes, yeah, I still have well over the full circle. The full pie. Look how evenly distributed everything is. I still don't get why sometimes the heights are a little bit uneven on the top screen. I don't know why that is. I wonder if the qualities of the foods have anything to do with the height. And I figured it just meant you have this many food. I just figured the height meant you had this, this many orders being worked on at that station. Maybe the height actually corresponds to the quality. But then, anything that's that has no food to work on at a given point has zero quality. And also the... Actually, I should 
I'll look a bit closer at that in a minute, because that might be precisely the way I should be thinking of it. Yeah. So, I think the height of each bar... I should have realized this before. For some reason, I think it took each the height of each bar to mean how many things we have going on at that station, but that's clearly not the case, because you have up to three bars at each station when you're in the in the order-taking area at the conveyor. See, on the right there, we have two things there. Or now three, because we have three dishes. But I believe... Those heights are the qualities of the food. Done. One down. So if anything's low in... I can see from here if anything's low in quality. Because otherwise I always just did the rounds to see if everything was of sufficient quality. But I shouldn't have been doing that. I should have just been looking there to see what the quality is. Of course, so I suspect the color... One reason I never noticed, probably, is because... Everything was always the same color. <laughs> Everything is always green on that screen. I suspect that if your quality got below perfect on a food, then that bar might turn to a different color on that screen. Which I've never seen happen, even though I've had like three instances of not getting a perfect color. Raw. Although it doesn't tell you if you need to go urgently to some stage or, or another. Of course, that's already done for you by the... By the bottom screen. <laughs> Darn! My finger would not move. I could not tap that button. I feel, I feel enlightened now. I feel like I've been given a new helpful source of information that I should have been using this whole time. Another trivially easy minigame. Ah! Why? How does this even work in universe? Like, has the customer demanded to wait a specific amount of time before we serve their food to them? Oh, come on there. Joy. Time to help Squidward. <sighs> but you were just Another at Squidward. I'm I still get nervous about that one, but I'm usually pretty consistent at my performance on it these days. Yeah, so I'm gonna be waiting on this pie until the end now. Great. Oh well. Oh, so on this quality there? Ah! Let me see that. I didn't know so was a bomb. So yes, I can see things lose quality. So is it that they lose quality between every step or something? These bomb ones? They also lose quality over time if they're on the conveyor. I just wish the game explained to me how these worked. I'm really, I'm really pushing on how early I pull some of those out. I mean, yeah, see, and you can see on the top screen it was still green quality-wise. I wonder if that one, that one should have still been good quality. So though, what happens is they they drop in quality though those bomb ones immediately before they're served. So what happens is if they're already low, so if they've already lost one point in quality, then that might mean that they lose a second one immediately before being served, and that's how I get an okay stuff perfect. That's annoying. That almost feels like... So I guess the only way to really get close to a perfect on that is to add extra quality to it, that little outer circle that you can fill up. My guess has been that you... that outer circle just adds tip money or something? That's what I've been guessing the whole time, but I've never actually confirmed it. That maybe. Oh, darn it. You get vague amounts of money depending on different quality. 
or maybe even equal amounts of money depending on quality or something like that for everything that's not For everything that's not beyond max, but then once something is filled up, filled up fully in quality, and then you start filling up that outer circle, the rest of that is, I guess. Tip money, maybe, that you're accumulating. Assuming you don't lose it. Just sit in here, watching everything on my big master control screen up top. I have eyes everywhere. I can see the quality of the food. And Yuri's just staring at me. It's quieting with me. Wonderful. The recipe! Recipe! Well, look at that next time. Bye everyone. Look, 15 minutes or 16. A kind of normal episode. Amazing. Miraculous.